B2 Web here. Quick video on setting up theme options with the uh, Genesis framework. Just a word, you know, if you're going to use another theme, and, and there's lots of great themes, and I hope to do some videos on other themes, uh, every theme generally you're going to have a theme options page, which you set up your basic uh, uh, parameters for a particular uh, theme and website. So Genesis has that, and it's under uh, Genesis right here. You just pull it down and go to theme settings. Uh, it's a uh, pretty straightforward. I uh, I leave a lot of it default, uh, but you know the first thing you may look at is the layout. Your website can be a layout of full width by default. That is, and you can you can pick each individual page and post. You can change the default. You can change the layout. So you can have one uh, post where you have the content sidebar on the right, and you can create another post where you have the uh, sidebar on the left and the content on the right. So by default, I choose the the one that's already default is content left sidebar right. This here, um, this will be worth your time watching this video. Right now by default it has a dynamic text for your header. Okay, Dynamic text looks like this. It's just text for your logo or your header. If you upload an image for your logo and your, your company and business name, which I recommend you do, and I'll show that in another video how to do that, you're going to want to pick image logo. And if you don't do that, it's not going to display your image even if you upload it. And a lot of people go crazy wondering what happened, why isn't my logo uploading? A lot of times it's just because of this. Navigation settings. You can choose whether you're going to have um, just primary or you want secondary as well. Uh, primary is this black one along here at the top. A secondary, we haven't created it, but it comes out right underneath here and just gives you opportunity for more menu settings. I, um, I'm 50-50 whether I use both. Uh, in this website, just to show you how to use it, we'll click it and use it. And we'll also enable the fancy drop downs. Breadcrumbs, I use breadcrumbs. That just displays um, you know, where, you, where a visitor is on a particular website. Um, Comments and trackbacks, I don't use those. Uh, you might want to use comments, that's up to you. Archives, I leave this as uh, uh, default for now. And same with the blog page. I usually, on a blog page, I'm going to display all categories, especially for a business website. Header and footer scripts. Um, here is where, in the header, I put my Google Analytics code once I get that account set up. And I'm going to end on this note here. When you set up and install and you're, you're building your, your WordPress business website, uh, check out your privacy, okay? Privacy here. Now, by default, your website is visible by everyone, including search engines. It used to be the other way around, and some people would wonder for months why their website wasn't in search engines, so WordPress changed up. Now, when I build a site uh, and I just launch a domain, because I don't have any content on there and really nothing is uh, ready to go, I actually switch it to privacy uh, and keep it from the search engines. But here's the deal. Don't forget to switch it back to making it visible. So I do it for this. You don't have to do this. It's up to you. You just got to be aware of this privacy setting here. And if you make a change, remember what you did. Those are the steps I take in uh, theme settings. Uh, and uh, you know, I just want to mention I keep these videos as, as short as possible and on, on a very focused topic so that if you're looking for a particular topic and how I did something, you don't have to watch a 50-minute video uh, on waiting until I get to a particular section. Instead, you can just watch uh, short, uh, hopefully under five-minute videos and, and get your questions answered. For more WordPress video tutorials, including full video courses on how to build uh, many types of websites, go to b2web.com dot com